I wish I knew. Welcome back to My Husband is My Best Friend. Carlissa tries to teach young women how to attract a man similar to Vanessa Bryant. So try to get y'all a husband. I know they they short out here, but just I'm telling y'all, go look over there. They be having them the military parties, them navy base parties. They gonna have a little PTSD. They gonna come a little fucked up, a little sideways, a little crooked. But for the most part, they gonna be motherfucking. They gonna be ready, okay? <laughs> aye aye, sir. Just go on down there on the military bases. They got millions of people down there, okay? Some of them going through divorce. Some of them. Some of them didn't ever get no wife because they was traveling around. Don't put no age on it. I think, you know, anything under five years because then the motherfucker going to be too old when you be too young. So don't be trying to get no old ass man. And just try to be yourself. Don't go in there faking, but don't go in there telling nobody you got four baby daddies. You know what I'm saying? I keep my shit low key. You know what I'm saying? Because something, you got to wait till your activate, okay? Once your snatch that motherfucker, then you could tell, let all your bones come out the closet. But, and don't be giving them your too soon. You know what I'm saying? You got to put the timing on that shit just right. You know what I'm saying? It's, I'm, I'm going to help y'all. One day I'm going to help y'all get it. I had three husbands. They ain't hard to get. And now I don't know you might say they ain't shit, but they was some shit back in the day when I had them. I don't know what the f*** they wear, fingernail polish. They wasn't like that when I had them, okay? Life done threw them a couple curveballs. They should have shut the f*** up and sit the f*** down and deal with the f*** I said do. You know what I'm saying? And it, life would have been easier. Now, who will need my help? Just raise your middle finger if you need my help, because I'm going to get on this f*** and help y'all every day. Y'all going on these first dates like, yeah, I got three kids. Like, you don't tell nobody your business at home till you get that mother on snatch mode. Once you get that mother on snatch, if you say one kid or three kids, if you see tight, he ain't going to know if you said five kids, bitch. Y'all going on these first dates. I tell you, <laughs> telling these mother because y'all, how many kids y'all got? How many bankruptcies y'all got? Y'all need help, bitch. You better put you some fake ass red bottoms on and fake it till you f***ing make it, okay? You don't tell nobody your mother business until you snatch that mother by his soul. You hear me? Once you got that soul, it don't give a f***ing matter how many baby daddies you got. That's your business until you snatch that soul. Then you marinate that mother You hear me? We gonna get y'all together because y'all out here trying to make your c- breathe too fast. It ain't, t- it's too fast to make your c- breathe. That's your last weapon of defense, bitch. That's your last motherfucking weapon of defense. That's not your first weapon. That's your last weapon. Okay, you gotta go take, make the mother take you for a walk. Don't try to take them to the cheesecake on the first day. You might not like the mother. Y'all trying to get a big ass meal? Uh uh-uh. uh. Cook your meal, okay? Take that motherfucker for a walk first. See how he walks. Shit, if the motherfucker walks sideways and the water scare him, you don't want to be trying to get nothing else out of him. Just take him for a nice little stroll and see how he if he if he rushed the walk. You know what I'm saying? You gotta fill out the temperature of these motherfuckers. Y'all giving them y'all last weapon of defense on the first go round. Hell no. To go back to the old school. I ain't never gave no pussy to nobody on the first night, except for that Indian man who wanted didn't want to give me that car for the money that I had down. That's the only time I ever did it on the first night. I went on that Mercedes lot and I only had two thousand dollars down and I'm a said i needed 10 i did what i had to do now i'm not proud of it and i'm not telling you to ever do no shit like that that's back when i was a sinner and i didn't know no better but shit i dropped it like it's hot for that eight bills you know what i'm saying he threw that eight on there we was good to go that's the only time i ever did that now when you looking for a husband bitch you don't give nobody shit (laughs) (laughs) 
Okay, you don't give nobody shit till they say that W word, okay? And now when they say that W word, that mean like, oh yeah, I'm thinking about a wife. I might want a wife one day. But if you walk on down the street with a motherfucker talking about, I ain't never getting married, that's some bullshit. Nigga, what, bitch, just let, leave him at the park, okay? Leave that motherfucker in the park and go over there to the military bases. They got they got to have good credit. They got to pay their child support. They got to have life insurance, car insurance, dental insurance, medical insurance. Go on down there and get you a man, okay, that got all his ducks in a row. Y'all dating people that ain't even got, I ain't never dated nobody that didn't have dental and medical on their motherfucking work, okay? If this motherfucker, I don't give a fuck if he's a rapper. Some rappers don't have medical and dental. What the fuck you gonna do with it? with no medical and no dental your ass start itching you can't even go to the doctor you got to pay for the doctor bill oh no that's the first line right there if he tell you he ain't been to the dentist in the last six months bitch i'm gonna show you the questions to ask okay because i don't know what kind of questions y'all out here asking but y'all simper fight there you go and see the motherfuckers in here they know then they got these cold words, bitch. You got to know the cold word. If you hear a motherfucker say simplify or all for one or one for all, rest my father, grant my father-in-law. So if you hear my, them, the, them, the key words you're looking for, bitch, simplify, all for one, one for all, <laughs> liberty in America, some shit like that. Don't even do it. And they got some cute ones in there, girl. Hmm, honey. When I got Mr. Sappho, honey, he's still cute, but he was finding it a mother back then, okay? And if I would have met that mother in high school, I would have fucked up the whole plan because I would have gave him my first line of defense on the first fucking night. Don't do that. Teach y'all daughters don't do that. Stop trying to let your pussy breathe. Get you a d on them days that you need to bend over and make that ass clap. Okay, don't be just out here giving away your goods. That's your best line of defense, bitch. These motherfuckers is out here giving these good white, black, and it don't matter. They out here giving these, these women ain't got jobs. They ain't got medical. They ain't got dental. They ain't never worked before. Kobe Bryant's wife ain't probably never worked a day in her life except for making it clap on his video. I bet you she didn't let that she breathe on that first night either. Okay, and she ain't even wasn't that cute. She ain't never been that cute. So we ain't even got to be that cute. She didn't have no BBL, no DBD, none of that shit. Okay, the bitch just showed up, held on to the line of defense, which was that. Cute. Okay, she went for a, she took that mother for a couple of walks. Okay, y'all ain't doing it right. Y'all out here doing too much tattooing the man all on your face and shit. He don't give a f about that. Be sure to like, share. And subscribe. Now y'all seen Jaden ain't that cute neither. She ended up with a whole rapper. Come on now, somebody. She cause she she kept that tight. She just kept that line of defense. She made him wait for a good, I don't know, I think it was close to a year. And then she didn't let nobody else breathe on that motherfucker. Sometimes you can't be letting everybody breathe on that. And you ain't gotta be that cute. You ain't even gotta be fine as a motherfucker no more. You didn't then, you don't now. You don't need no BBL or none of that shit, no DVD, nothing. Okay? You got to know how to wind up that. Your, your grandmama should have taught you some of them tricks, okay? But that's okay if your grandma didn't teach you. I'm going to teach you. Stop giving these people your best line of defense and going over there to the military bases. They, them, they, sh they shipping out them motherfuckers like robots every day. Okay, they make sure they keep their credit right. They ain't allowed to not pay their child support. You're going to get a responsible mother out that military. Okay. Yeah, I ain't going to lie. They they wake up sometimes and they be punching, but you just got to learn. You got you to gotta put your, just sleep with your arm like this, bitch. <laughs> I sleep just like this. That mother to start breathing too hard like the fucking like the people after it i just jump over to the other side of the bed let it roll and if they get to moving too much you wake that mother up and you tell them 
Saddam Hussein, they caught him already. He did. Thanks for tuning in to My Husband is My Best Friend.